it has. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna blur that out for you. I mm -mm, you can't see what I just saw. What is up, guys? My name is Gabe. Today, what are we gonna be talking about? Oh, extreme love. Oh, okay. Extreme love! Every single week, it's extreme love because you guys have been enjoying that. If you don't know what extreme love is, it's, a, it's, it's extreme love. Go check out the playlist down below. It's the top playlist. You can go click on that. It'll take you to all the recent videos of extreme love, all the craziness. And so, yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, as always, if you are enjoying these. And subscribe, because we are getting so close to 800,000 subscribers. If we can get to that, maybe, maybe, I will do, sometimes, two videos a week. But at the moment, don't hold me to that. But, maybe, if we get closer and closer to a million, I will up, up, up the content. Because I really want to get there, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the content, so... Yeah. So this week we're going to be talking about couples that think they are vampires. Oh, yes. I wish I was kidding. Now before I get into this week's video, I do want to give a shout out to Dashlane for sponsoring this week's video. If you're not familiar with Dashlane, it allows you to save up to a million passwords all in one place. It can create passwords for you. It can save credit card information for you to make checkouts easy. It has autofill features. So easy. I use it myself because you know, I want to try and be as simple as possible. I'm also very lazy and it's very helpful in that way. And I, I like to be lazy, okay? Dashlane has also been downloaded by 10 million people in 150 countries. That's a lot of people. I don't even think I know a million people. I definitely don't know a million people, but 10 million. That's like 10 times that. Math. It will also alert you if anyone tries to change your password. It's gonna say, whoa, change your passwords. Someone's trying to breach your internet. And then you're like, okay, well, thank you for that dash lane. I really appreciate that. And then you change your passwords and then you feel safe again. It also has its own VPN. Now, if you don't know what that means, that is a virtual private network. You also don't know what that means. Private network is just allowing you to search without people being like, what's he looking at? It's a private network, guys. People can't be trying to hack into you. It's another safe way to be safe. I hope that that made sense, guys. I use it myself. I would not be promoting something that I did not think is safe. So go and check it out. Link in the description, dashlane.com slash Gabe. The first 100 people who use it will get an extra 10% off. And the first 30 days is a free premium trial. So go sign up, check it out. I use it, we can talk about it. If you do download it, comment down below. I'll be replying to comments. Now we're gonna get into the video. Here we go. Let's talk about some vampires. So this first video is titled, I let my boyfriend drink my blood. Oh. You think the blood is a conduit of energy. Oh. You can feel the energy tingling. Oh. Oh. I feel like I should tell you this is a blood warning. Uh, I know I'm a few seconds late, but I have not seen this video yet, and I should have known by the title of it, but there's blood. We're only seven seconds in this video, and I already want to throw up. I'm scared. Really intense awareness by drinking a powerful cup of coffee. What? You said blood is like drinking a powerful cup of coffee. It is blood. I'm okay if people drink coffee. It gives you energy. That is dedication. Look at that girl's face. She is cringing. She is in pain. And he's just going in eating a full course meal. None of this is pleasant. It's just, ugh, not it, chief. We're just not gonna talk about them walking out of a coffin. I know they're trying to commit to it, but falling asleep standing up is not a thing. I don't believe it. Not a thing. Now you're probably like, what are you talking about? Look at how the coffin is. It's standing up. I feel like I should just go along with this stuff. Like, oh my god, they're vampires. He came out of a coffin. Look at him. He hates the light. He's going, ah! Okay, cool. You're not a vampire. Sorry. I know I'm a hater, but haters will hate. And I'm, I'm hating. 48-year-old Michael Vachmil, or Raven, as he's better known in the blood-sucking community. Look, I get that there are communities. I've been on Facebook. There's a group for literally everything. It's crazy. My question here is, isn't that against the law? Like, can people just steal each other's blood? Like imagine walking down the street with a friend and then these group of people are walking towards you and your friend notices them and recognizes them and says, oh, is that the blood sucking community? Run! Like I'd be terrified. The blood sucking, it's just, it's never gonna get better. It actually gets worse as I say it more. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm really gonna throw up. Vampire who believes drinking human blood gives him vitality. Vitality? I started drinking blood shortly after my 13th birthday. What? It was during a very intense sexual act that... Oh, oh, oh. Look, 
I'm not gonna- I'm trying my best not to bring age up into this because no matter what age he was gonna be, the idea of sucking blood- I mean, I guess if he was like a little kid, I would've been like, oh, he's a little kid, he's still trying to figure it out. But you started when you're 13, and he's like, what? What did they say? 40-something years old? 48-year-old Michael Vachmill. He's just been sucking blood for all these years? Decades? Think about all the blood that he sucked. Oh. 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 That is, uh, too much information, man. His friend Blute, who's 28. That's not even his girlfriend, it's just his friend. What are we with these, like last week, the girl like stored this guy's dog suit. This week, this girl literally lets him suck her blood. Tom keeps his puppy gear at his friend Rachel's house. Just think about this for a second. Anytime he wants to dress up like this dog, he has to call up his friend Rachel and be like, Hey, bring over my dog suit. Is that friendship? I... Uh... Hi! You ready for me to suck your blood? How are you? <laughs> that was my impression of sucking blood. Thank you. I first became interested in vampires when I was about seven or eight. I found okay. a book that my sister owned. And that kind of- uh, Are they friends? Are they dating? I mean, at this point, I don't know what friendship is to these people, but they kissed on the lips. I don't kiss any of my friends. What do you guys think? I think they're dating. I think that they said it in a weird way, but I think that they are dating. Also, her nickname is Black Swan. I get creativity, but how did you come up with the name Black Swan? I don't think anything about swans has to do with blood. It wasn't the vampire I wanted to be, it was the quote unquote prey. What? I'm really not trying to kink shame anyone. Like I know people have different preferences on things that they do in the background and I'm like, okay, you do you on that. But you want to call yourself prey? I don't think anyone wants to call himself prey. I'm not trying to judge, but it's just, Oh, it's, whoa, it's weird. You want to be called prey. Like, I'm praying for you. Blute is what's known as a black swan, a willing blood donor. Both oh. her and Ray Okay, look, I take back what I said about black swan. If that is a term in this community, then okay, I understand. I thought she just came up with the name black swan and I was going to be like, but it's a term. For me, being a black swan is really more tying into my submissive side. It is a way that I serve. Sometimes it's a little bit like when you get the shiver all the way up your spine. Because it's actually very pleasurable as well. Flute what is that? Why is it wet on its pants? Flute now travels up to 250 miles several times a year from her home in Shreveport, Louisiana to Houston to let ravens suck her blood. I've heard of dedication, but you drive 200 miles to let some man that I don't even know if it's your friend or your boyfriend or whatever you guys are together just for him to suck your blood. You don't even get anything out. I mean, I guess you get pleasure out of it. Oh. Oh! Okay, I need to take a walk. I'll be right back. <laughs> 200 miles! You want to make sure that the scalpel that you're using. Oh no, I don't want a tutorial. Stop. Oh. Tea tree oil. I'm like forced to wash these for you guys. Disinfect the skin. Generally, Michael and I, he does lick and suck it off. Uh, My absolute favorite way is a Chinese cupping set. It has. <laughs> oh, I need to skip this part. I need to. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand over the screen. I'm gonna put my hand over the screen, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna blur that out for you. I. Mm -mm. You can't see what I just saw. Press the suction over it. Okay, uh, uh, it's back, it's back. Okay, how do I, oh no, I skipped, oh no. Okay, wait, stop. Oh. It's not a sexual pleasure. It's just like getting a good massage. It's just very relaxing. That's not like getting a massage. But the practice doesn't come without dangers. So of course there's the risk of AIDS yeah. and sexually transmitted diseases, but with risk management, it is a lot less than most people would even think. Blute and Raven want the wider public to open their minds and mouths to the blood-curdling subculture. Dracula, Twilight, and other such. They haven't given vampires the bad rocks. They've humanized the vampire. The camera is slowly zooming in and tilting. Are we being introduced into a cult? With the swan, there's compassion. What are with these photos? Understanding. If there are people who are out there and are interested, actually do your research, get your proper tools, and make sure to sterilize skin and scalpel. And, uh, don't fear us. We're not scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
not scary. I drive 200 miles, you know, five times a year. It's definitely a scary drive doing it alone, but I do it because it's fun. And at the end of the day, this guy who I kind of know, who's kind of my boyfriend, but not really my boyfriend, sucks my blood. And I love it. I love it. Okay, that was a little weird for me to do. You're probably wondering why this video is still going on. That's because I have more clips of people sucking each other's blood. So let's watch this one titled, Real Life Vampire Couple Drink Each Other's Blood. So this is an actual couple. They actually say that they're dating and they drink each other's blood. So no black swans or any other terms in here. They literally just suck each other's blood. Yay. You would be forgiven for thinking this is a meal with red wine, but it's the blood. glasses actually contain blood. That is a lot of blood. And there's two glasses. Like I understand each one of them took out their own blood or took out each other's blood and then drank each other's blood. Where do you get that much blood from? I don't even think I want to know. I don't want to know. Leah and Arrow aren't your average couple. They're actually nope. real life vampires living in the sleepy town of Haven Hill, Suffolk. The taste of the blood depends on the person. Most blood has a oh. sort of copper. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to blur out certain images. I don't care about demonetization. I just don't want this video to be age restricted because there's a lot of cutting and blood and you guys don't need to see this. Just look at my reaction. It was love at first bite for Leah. And long time <laughs> <laughs> love puns. If you don't understand, it's supposed to be love at first sight. But they're vampires and they bite each other, so love it. Ha! Ha ha ha! When I first saw that he was a vampire, very interesting. I was like, okay, didn't know there was actual proper real vampires out there. I've always hoped there was. Yeah, After okay. Three... I don't normally do this, but she is lying. She said she was looking for a vampire. No one's looking for a vampire. I understand that maybe she was curious. He said he was a vampire. I think I would ask, what do you mean by that? And I would be curious. And I understand that maybe she's a vampire now. Hey, I'm gonna go on this dating website to look for a vampire. If she is telling the truth, then there maybe are people who are looking for vampires. And I should create the first dating app for vampires and call it garlic. Oh, no, they don't like garlic. Bite. I feel like that'd be a food website though. Don't steal my idea, but I'm on to something. After three weeks, Smith and Arrow asked Leah to marry him. But the real test of commitment to each other came a week later, when Leah asked Arrow to turn her into a vampire. My mind was just blown in 10 directions. I don't know what I should react to first. The f I guess the first thing I should start off with is that they're staring at tombstones at a cemetery, which are dead bodies. I don't know how else to say it, but that's the truth. They are staring at dead people. Second off, they got married after three weeks of knowing each other. Okay, my third and final one is a question. What do you mean by turning her into a vampire? I don't know. He turned me into a vampire. It had to be at 3 a.m. in the morning, the witching hour. I've always had cravings for blood since the first age I can remember. Anytime someone cut themselves, if they cut their finger, I'd you put just their suck on it. Mouth. Now, Leah and Arrow drink blood once a week to satisfy their cravings. Once to a week? To supplement their diet, they eat raw steak from their local butchers. And if the steaks aren't enough, the raw? pair also indulge in a glass of pig's blood. They drink each other's blood. Oh. I always feel more energy in my body, almost as if <sighs> Now the loved up couple are set to get married on the spookiest day of the year, Halloween. Halloween. There we go. That was kind of easy. My parents are actually happy with the relationship I have with Arrow. They don't know that we're both vampires and that Arrow was the one who turned me. You know, my parents really support us. They don't really know about who I am or that I'm a vampire or that I'm sucking blood once a week or that I eat raw meat or any of this. But, you know, they really love my boyfriend or should I say husband because he's going to be my husband on Halloween. So, like, that's fun. But are Leah and Arrow alone in their unique love affair? There's vampires everywhere. Vampires can be doctors, nurses, someone working in the local supermarket, your friends, your family. We could be anyone. Oh... Oh, oh, oh. Well, that definitely terrified me. Anyone can be a vampire? What if my grandma's a vampire? I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I know that some of it was blurred out, but trust me, I did that to help you guys. The first shout out of this week is the positive comment of the week. If you're not familiar with that, you just leave a positive comment about something cool going on in your life, something cool in the past, anything, maybe something with your family. For this week, it was Curious Bean. She got into biochemistry at her dream university, so congratulations. That is awesome. I'm not really good at chemistry or biochemistry or anything with science, to be honest. So you do that, and I will sit here and do this. Suck blood. 
or just react to people's like, you know, you just do you, okay? Congratulations, that is so awesome. The second shout out goes to someone who rocks the PositiveFriday.com website merchandise. That is my brand. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I have different things like this one, like the Positive Friday hoodie and Living in the Moment. And there's very few items left because I'm starting new designs very soon. Everything's still on sale, but there's no coupon code this week. So go check it out. It's PositiveFriday.com. This week's shout out goes to Joy. She's rocking it with her friends. So thank you so much for sending me that. Guys, if you ever wear anything or buy anything, please take a picture and send it to me because I will shout you out. So that's this week's video. Thank you again to Dashlane. Once again, guys, the first 200 people who sign up with my link get an extra 10% off. So go check that out. That is dashlane.com slash Gabe. I will see you guys next week with a new video. I feel nauseous. I'm going to go throw up. But before I do that, I am a vampire. <laughs>